Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for some more content on a Sunday. I appreciate you joining me. I appreciate you new folks checking out my channel. I really do. Thanks for joining me today. Today we have the brand new Citizen Pro Master Limited Edition Unite with Blue 200 meter solar diver. This is model number BN0166-01L. This is a limited edition. Only 7,000 will be made worldwide and it's made to celebrate World Oceans Day, which was actually, I believe a couple days ago on June 8th. Anyway, it's got one of the most beautiful dials I have ever seen. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we'll get into this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. As y'all know, I get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store. So whenever you do so, it really helps out the channel and I do appreciate it. All right, so here you go. Typical little mini scuba tank from Citizen. I've grown to really love these things, man. I love these little tanks. And as y'all know, uh, some limited edition models get different color tanks. Like there's a red one out there. There's a gold one out there. Uh, I think there's a, there's a um, let me see, red gold. And I think there's like a platinum color kind of one. Really cool. And if you get one of these overseas, they come in a really long, super thin yellow uh, little mini scuba tank. So anyway, there you go. As usual, no uh, manuals anymore from Citizen. Everything is done online. There's a little pamphlet down there at the bottom. Y'all have seen these little mini scuba tanks a million times on my channel. So I'm not gonna bore you too much with these. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank Moses. I mean, I've seen this thing a few times before I did this review and it just never fails to just like stop me in my tracks. That is so, so pretty. In a manly way, of course. <laughs> Look at that. In fact, let me go ahead and magnify this. You can see how the light is playing on that dial. And I'll tell you how they kind of did that. Holy Moses, good grief. It looks like a special effect from like the movie, The Abyss or something. It doesn't even look real. How in the world? Well, I know how they did it. And I'll tell you here in just a second. Wow, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and take it off its pillow. Let's get the tank out of the way. This is not gonna be a super long review because this is basically just another, you know, ProMaster Diver, just in a really cool colorway. So there we go. Wow, that's really, really cool. All right, as usual, I'm gonna tell you all the seven specs you need to know. I'll put the rest of the stuff down there in the description field. Of course, you got a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 11.5 millimeters thick. It's 50 millimeters lug to lug. Uh, it's on a 20 millimeter polyurethane strap. Uh, water resistance is 200 meters, which is 660 feet. Of course, it's got the venerable Citizen E168 movement with about a six month power reserve. Uh, you do get a mineral crystal with an AR coating, no sapphire, unfortunately. And again, if you wanna learn all the other specs, just check down there in the description field. Uh, again, y'all have seen these many, many times. But the main showstopper of this watch is that dial. That, <laughs> I just can't, I can't, I can't stop staring at it, man. It's like it's got me in a trance. It's really cool. Anyway, these were made to celebrate World Oceans Day, which again, I think was June 8th. Uh, and Citizen teamed up with Fuji Film Corporation and used their structural color ink process uh, to make this dial. And speaking of, the dial is made from 100% recycled polycarbonate materials. Uh, really, really cool. You, you know, if you can do anything to help the environment, I'm all for that. So the fact this is made with 100% Recycled polycarbonate is really cool. Uh, there are five models in this collection, including two Atessa models, uh, which are atomic and titanium. Those are like, you know, $1,200 and like $2,000. They're kind of expensive. And then a couple lady, like an Exceed model and another ladies model. Um, I, I, again, they all basically have the same exact dial. Minor differences in the actual pattern of that kind of amorphous blue I don't know what you call it, man. Blob? I don't know what that thing is, but it's really, really cool. And again, all of these are limited editions. Uh, this one having 7,000 and the other, like the other Atessa models and the other ladies models are much, much lower production. Like, you know, 1,000 models or 300 models or 1,200 models. 
Um, you know, they, they, they created a lot less of those, uh, but they knew this was probably going to be, you know, their biggest seller. So that's why they're seven. I mean, 7,000 is not, you know, it's not a low production run, but you know, get, you know, then again, it's not like, you know, half a million or something like that. Uh, I think it's low enough just to make this watch obtainable. And I think these are going to go incredibly fast. Citizen is just knocking it out of the park with these new textured dials. Like that one, that orange one I did, I don't know, about a month or so ago, that orange face diver, one of these, uh, that that was sold out for, gosh, weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't know if they're even back yet. I think they're, I, I don't think they're still back. I think they're uh, still on back order, uh, but that was sold out. I have a feeling this one's going to do the exact same thing. I was very, very lucky to get this watch uh, about two or three days before it actually went on sale. I kept refreshing the Citizen website. I said, you know what? Let me keep checking. Let me keep checking. And lo and behold, and it had the 25% Father's Day discount. So I really, really lucked out uh, in getting this watch. And it was shipped, you know, I got it, what, what, two days ago or something like that? So I was just extremely lucky. Everything, you know, all, the, all the planets were aligned for me to be able to get this at such a, a, a good discount. Now they're at still at, uh, they're back up at $475. Of course, you know, I'll make sure to put that link down there in the description field for you. Um, and notice this, y'all are going to appreciate this. Notice how everything lines up perfectly. I don't know how Citizen does this and other watch manufacturers can't do it, namely Seiko. But look at that, man. It hits each index just spot on. Incredible. Chapter ring lines up, bezel lines up, second hand hits each spot perfectly. Absolutely. Here, watch this. Boom. Look at that. Gosh. I wish other watch manufacturers, I mean, namely Citizen, I mean, namely Seiko, could figure that out. All right, y'all know this watch. Y'all seen this watch in its many iterations over the years. You know, it's not really much to go over. Um, again, the uh, the showstopper is that dial. And you can see a little bit of shadow on there. Wow, really, really cool. All right, let me go ahead and try this thing on. I told you this wasn't going to be a super quick review, only because this particular model doesn't have a lot of features and functions. It's just they're probably their best-selling uh, affordable diver that they make. And it has been for, what, eight years now? Let's see if I can get this thing on my wrist here. All right, there we go. Gosh, I can't stop staring at that dial. I'm in a trance. I think it's beautiful, man. All right, let's go ahead and check out the loom. Y'all know what's going to happen here. Citizen has some great proprietary loom. I would say on par with Seiko's, to tell you the truth. Um, we just don't know what the composition of the loom is. Let's go ahead and kill all the lights, kill the monitors. Y'all know what's going to happen. I don't think it's as bright as Seiko's, but I definitely think it's as long lasting for sure. There you go. Wow. Really good loom. And I love the fact that it's two tone. You got the little green pip up here at 12, but the actual loom on the dial is like a cobalt blue. I wish they would do something with these case backs. Like, you know, bring back that Citizen um, EcoDrive big, like, globe logo they used to do. I think they still do it on some overseas models, like in the European market, um, the Asian market. They have that big, huge Citizen EcoDrive logo that's laser etched on their case backs. But the stuff here in North America, it just doesn't have it anymore. I'm not quite sure why. Of course, there's your crown. I mean, y'all know the deal with this watch. Y'all seen this watch, again, like I said, a million times. All right, we're going to cut everything back on. Tell me what you think of this thing. You know, one, one thing I was thinking about, that Citizen a lot of times does not um, number their limited editions. Like, if you look on the case back, you're not going to see anywhere where it says, you know, like 0, 0,500 or 7,000 or anything like that. They just don't number their limited editions, at least not in this range. I've seen some Fugus numbered but I have never seen any of these numbered. I'm just looking, yeah, it's not numbered. Nice little radial pattern there on the uh, case back, by the way. But I've never seen any of these numbers. So it always makes me, you know, it begs the question, are these legitimately a limited edition? Are they only gonna make 7,000 of these? I mean, who knows? I mean, I trust this and they say they're only gonna make 7,000, they're only gonna make 7,000. So, you know, let me actually also show you these other Atessa models. Let me bring up my little video capture thing here. And let me show you these. 
All right, so let's go to the shop section. Let's go to the Pro Master section. Let's go to sort by new arrivals. All right, so there's this one. And then let me see if they bring up the Atessa models. Now you probably gotta go to Super Titanium section, which is, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Here we go. Super Titanium, sort by new arrivals. And there you go. So I don't know what y'all think of these. I'm not a big fan of anything DLC coded just because over time it can wear off. I mean, it's, it's pretty. I like it, but I think the dial on this Pro Master is just much more pronounced. It's much more vibrant. And I'm definitely not crazy about this leather strap. Does it look like leather? Is it actually leather? Band type. Yeah, it is leather. Ew. Yeah, that's a no-go for me. All right, let's check out the other one. For some reason, I have to go back in here and redo this. All right, let's go back in here. And let's check out this other Tessa. Again, another Super Titanium. See, is it just me or does the dial on the Pro Master look a lot more pronounced and a lot prettier, to tell you the truth? And this thing's 2,000 bucks, man. It's not cheap. So, anyway, and they both have Atomic. And here's the, actually, you know what? Here's the, the Bianca model. This has actually got a couple little diamonds in there, right there and right there. Same dial. And then there's an Exceed model, which I can't seem to find right this second. Anyway, there's another model. One more of these. And another thing, let me show you all real quick. They've made some 37 millimeter models of the Pro Master for women. Boom. There you go. Pretty cool. Some scaled down models for women. I mean, or I guess, you know, if, you, if you're a guy, you want to rock a much smaller watch. I guess you could rock one of these. You know, it's up to you. Um, I like this blue one. I don't know if that, that's just the picture, but the shade of blue is different than what's in the picture than what's right here. So I'm not quite sure what they did. This is kind of cool looking. I, I would think that'd be really nice if they made a man's version. Maybe put it on a black strap or something like that. Gosh, I like that gray dial. Let me take a look at this thing. Sorry, getting off track here. I like that. Maybe put that on a black strap instead of like that, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, faded pink. What's the word I'm looking for? Not faded pink, like a, uh, a matte pink color. Anyway, guys, I've gotten way off topic here. Um, anyway, so if you like this thing, uh, head on over to Citizen's website. Again, I'll make sure to put a link down there in the description field. Again, it's $475. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I really appreciate it when you do that. I've got a couple more reviews coming up, um, obviously, next weekend. Uh, another Citizen review, I will tell you that. Uh, one that's been in the works for probably, gosh, oh, gosh, it's been in like over a month now. Um, and it's just, it's not a big deal. It's just taking longer than I thought it was going to take to finally get this review up for you. But uh, anyway, tell me what you think of this thing. I love it a lot. Tell me what you think. And until the next review, I will see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.